so thrilled to be here and we'd like to thank especially Christy Lockhart and the friends of the Thomas Crane Library for inviting us to be here today and it's wonderful to see all of you and I'd like to introduce my wonderful collaborator today Luke Malloy and Luke has a fan section here not only is he amazing on the keyboards but he is an amazing musician and has this gift of artistry and I noticed that right away when I first met him many years ago, about eight years, right? Eight years ago. So I'm so thrilled that he's here to play and he's going to also share some solo pieces. I wanted to showcase his wonderful skills. It's like magic when he plays the keys. So I know you'll enjoy his solos as well. I wanted to do a show of Broadway show tunes and do some jazzy versions of them as well. And we wanted to start with Look for the Silver Lining. And this is a song, um, I know for me, music and the arts has been a wonderful way to sustain me through the pandemic. And I think for many of you, the arts and especially music has probably helped you as well. And I think we're all looking for a silver lining over the last two years. So I thought this song um, was a wonderful way to begin this program and it's also wonderful that we can all gather for probably the first time for many of you in public to have some live music together so for that I'm very grateful. This first song, Look for the Silver Lining, was from a musical called Sally which I'm sure none of you have heard um, but it's a great tune that's why we wanted to start with it. But this next song is from a musical I'm sure you all know, The Music Man Till There Was You, and it was written by Meredith Wilson. It was actually a solo first, and then when he wrote the musical later, he incorporated it into Act Two for, I thought it was sort of appropriate, Marion the Librarian, since I'm in this beautiful library. And she sings to uh, Professor Harold Hill this love song. And while I was doing some research, because I love to get into the history of songs, I had no idea that the Beatles actually did a cover of this song. It's the only Broadway show tune that they covered, and it's really fun if you ever want to listen to it. It's got Paul McCartney on lead vocals and Ringo Starr on bongos. So I thought that was wonderful. But we're going to do a more standard version from the musical, Till There Was You. There were But I never heard them ringing No, I never heard them at all Till there was you There were birds in the sky But I never saw them winging No, I never saw Till there was you And there was music And there were wonderful roses They tell me in sweet fragrant meadows Of dawn and dew There was love 
No, I never heard it at all till there was you. so lucky Luke is here today. Uh, this next song is another wonderful classic from the great composer Cole Porter, who wrote both the lyrics and the music to all of his songs in his shows. This is from the musical Kiss Me Kate, which is a play within a play of The Taming of the Shrew. And this is a great song because the two leads are divorced but are playing the two lead roles, and they are still secretly madly in love with each other, but won't admit it at this point. But they sing this wonderful duet in the show, So In Love, from Kiss Me Kate. Strange dear, but true dear, when I'm close to you, Deceive me, deceive me. 
This next song is a song I've always wanted to sing, and it's from the wonderful musical My Fair Lady. And it's a song that Freddie sings at the doorstep of Eliza Doolittle as he's madly in love with her, proclaiming his love on the street where you live. to share a uh, solo with you and I'll let him tell you about it. This is a song by, uh, it's from a show called I'd Rather Be Right. Anyone ever hear of it? It's uh, from 1937. It's a Rogers and Hart show, but you know many of their shows, but not many of their songs. The book was by uh, Moss Hart and George Kaufman. 
And this was the big return of George M. Cohen, who it's given my regards to Broadway and the movie Yankee Doodle Dandy and all those. Uh, but he didn't sing this song, someone else did. And um, it's called Have You Met Miss Jones? And it goes like this. Thank you, Luke. This next set um, is a set we wanted to do to honor the late and great Stephen Sondheim, who unfortunately passed away last fall. Sondheim's musicals are like a genre unto themselves. He's not only a brilliant lyricist, but also a composer. And like Cole Porter, he also writes, of course, the words and music to all of his shows, um, starting with a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. And I find that Sondheim sort of reshaped musical theater. Before Sondheim, musical theater was very much geared toward comedy and romanticism, light entertainment. And he sort of took an unconventional path and went into um, darker material, subject matter, and more complicated characters, and started the musical theater down a different um, road and is credited for that. I had a hard time finding which songs I wanted to sing because there were so many. But um, two of my favorite musicals are Into the Woods and Sweeney Todd. So this first um, medley, actually, I couldn't decide, so I put them both together, is from Into the Woods, um, Children Will Listen, going into Stay With Me. These songs are sung by the Wicked Witch. Um, if you know the musical, it's a show about all of the fairy tales put together into one. and quite brilliantly and she at this point she has her daughter Rapunzel in the tower who has escaped and she is lamenting both the joys and the turmoil of being a parent. Careful the things you say 
children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see and learn. Children may not obey, but children will listen. Children will For which way to turn, to learn what to be. Careful before you say, listen to me. Children will Out there in the world, someone has to shield you from the world. Stay with me. Princes wait there in the world, it's true. Princes, yes. But wolves and humans too Stay at home I am home Who out there Could love you more than I? What out there That I cannot supply? Stay with me, the world is dark and wild. Stay a child while you can be a child. With And this next song is from Sweeney Todd. It's again sung by a male character, so I get to sing it. It's sung by Toby to Mrs. Lovett. He is proclaiming how he wants to keep her safe and protect her, not knowing that she's going to kill him in the next scene. But um, this is a, <laughs> at this point, he's very innocent and pure. And I always think of this song, you know, as a parent and just, um, just wanting to keep people I love safe and protected from harm. The theme of the song is, I think, very wide-reaching. So this is Not While I'm Around from Sweeney Todd. Nothing's gonna harm you not while I'm around Nothing's gonna harm you, no sir Not while I'm around Demons are crawling everywhere Nowadays I'll send them howling I don't care I got wings gonna hurt you, no one's gonna dare. Others may desert you, not to worry, whistle I'll be
No one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna tell. Others may desert you, not to worry. Whistle, I'll be there. Not while I'm um, we wanted to end the Sondheim set with a song that um, many of you know from West Side Story. Sondheim started as a lyricist and worked on shows West Side Story and Gypsy. And we'd also like to showcase the brilliant music of Leonard Bernstein today. I'm trying to get as many composers as I can onto the program. This is a beautiful song from the show called Somewhere. And I think in this war-torn world we all live in today, I feel like the text, the lyrics to this song are very significant, um, at least for me, in talking about somewhere there's a place for us, peace and quiet and open air, and a place where we can all have peace together. This is Somewhere from West Side Story. Treat. I've heard this medley, and Luke is going to tell you a little bit about it, but it's fabulous. Enjoy. Oh, I won't say much about it. It's from West Side Story. <laughs> All right.
And now we're going into our last set, and these are Broadway songs that we're going to do a little jazzier than normal, and hope you enjoy them. So this first song is Blue Skies. It's from the musical Betsy. Has anyone heard of Betsy? I know I never heard of it. Again, these songs have become jazz standards. The shows are no longer done, but the jazz musicians have taken these wonderful tunes into their repertoire. Um, a funny story I read while I was researching this song. It's by the great Irving Berlin, a fabulous composer. But at the opening night of the show, it only ran, by the way, 39 performances. That's probably why I've never heard of it. And at the opening night, the star, Belle Baker, this song was such a hit to the audience that they made her sing this song 24 times as an encore. <laughs> and then <laughs> the very last time, the 24th time, she forgot the words. <laughs> and I guess Irving Berlin was sitting in the front row, so he started yelling and singing them out to her the 24th time. So I thought it was apropos that maybe I do a little scatting in the middle of the song, forget the words and scat a little. Um, and those of you who know me well know I dream of blue skies. I love summertime. So this song always uplifts me, and I hope you enjoy it. Blue and skies. Gonna, and we're going to do it 24 times for this Yes, time. yes, 24 yeah. times. Reenact that evening. We'll be here a while. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> It's from the musical The Wizard of Oz, sung by Dorothy. So I think you all know what this song is. It's one of my favorites, Over the Rainbow, by the great composer Harold Arlen.
Thank you. Now we'd like to do another song by Cole Porter. This is from the great musical Anything Goes, originally sung by Ethel Merman. I'll try not to sound like her. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Although I, I love this song. We're going to do the verse that goes in front of the chorus because it's such a great verse and jazz musicians usually don't do the verses, but I love the lyrics, so we're going to include the verse too. I get a kick out of you. My story is much too sad to be told, but practically everything leaves me totally cold. The only exception I know is the case when I'm out on a quiet spree, fighting vainly the old ennui, and I suddenly turn. Get no kick from champagne. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why should it be true that I get a kick out of you? I get no kick from cocaine. No way. I'm sure that if I took even one step.
show too, but I snuck it on anyway. Because I've never sung it, I always wanted to sing it, and it's a great song by Bart Howard. George Gershwin. It's originally from the musical Treasure Girl. Again, no one's probably heard of that one either. But it was sung as a slow version by Ethel Merman in the first version of a show like I Got a Rhythm. And then they decided to speed it up and they moved it to the musical Girl Crazy, where she did it as an upbeat number. And I always loved this version. This is her version where she sings it through once, but then the piano takes over the melody. So I want you to listen to Luke during the second time through. And I hold like a pedal point above it, but he steals the show. <clears throat> so this is I Got Rhythm, and again, it's got a wonderful verse, so we thought we'd include the verse as well, because we love these lyrics. <laughs> Thank you. 